Hello everyone, welcome, thank you for joining my channel. Sorry I'm not a mechanic, I can't give you guys an expert review, but I will give you guys my personal review on these Brembo ceramic brake pads. Alright, here we go. I bought these brake pads for my Toyota hybrid SUV. These brake pads cost about $50 compared to Toyota Lexus brake pads which cost $100. So for half the price, it's not bad, can't go wrong. But I have read mixed reviews online that these aren't so good but I decided to give it a try and find out for myself to see if this is worth the investment for the price. It's either you buy a premium brand for a higher price or you spend a little less and try these ones out. Even though these are Brembo, it's supposed to be a good name brand brakes but they're just labeled as Brembo. But the brake pad itself it could be a lower quality but that's why I decided to buy these and try it out for myself to see if these reviews are true or not. So far I've driven about 8,000 kilometers on these brake pads. I haven't noticed any issues with them. The braking power with these brake pads, I feel that they are a little better than the Toyota Lexus brake pads. But however, the brake dust, these ones are a little worse than the Toyota Lexus ones. So it's vice versa. So you either spend more and get less brake dust or get more brake dust and spend less. There's an inverse relationship with uh, quality and brake pads. Another thing I noticed with these brake pads is that when I push the brake pedal, I feel that these pads are gripping the rotor much better than the Lexus Toyota ones. And also I don't have to press the pedal as far in to stop my car than the uh, Lexus Toyota ones. And for brake noise, it's very qu quiet. It's pretty quiet, there's no vibration or squeak noise. Make sure you apply the lubricants in the proper areas. After 11 years and 185,000 kilometers, I've decided to replace my Toyota brake pads. They still have some life left. Out with the old and in with the new. After cleaning the surface, the caliper pins are very easy to install. This is what the original looks like. And now these are the shiny new ones. Bling bling. With these brake pads, I did come across with an issue. I wasn't able to install the brake wear indicator. It just could not fit. A quick solution was to file the edges so the brake wear indicator would slide in properly. Much better. The brake lubricant that came with the package was easy to use and there was enough. When installing the pads into the caliper, it was very easy. It slid like butter. Let's take a quick look. I washed my car about 2000 kilometers ago. The brake dust collected on this rim is not terrible. When comparing Toyota brake pads and these Brembo brake pads, the Brembo brake pads produce slightly more brake dust on the rim. But when comparing to BMW brake pads, after 2000 kilometers, these rims will be caked. I used to drive a BMW and my rims were caked after 2,000 kilometers. They were much worse than these ones. They were real bad. But the good side, the braking power on the BMW brake pads, they were really good. That's the trade-off.
Too bad I don't have a proper tool to show you guys the thickness of these pads. I'll try my best in this video to show you what it looks like after 8,000 kilometers. These pads still look like brand new with no noticeable wear that I can see or can tell. I also drive a hybrid so it uses regenerative braking so these brakes pads should last me a very long time. Overall, I think these Brembo brake pads are worth it. For the price, it can't really go wrong. And besides, these Brembo is the choice of champions. So, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Peace out until next time.